Yeah. All right, you should be recording now. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Is that on? Check, yes. check, check, check. What's up, guys? I said it. No, I'm scared. Hello, YouTube. We got Etiana. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley's hiding in the corner. Adina. <laughs> then my wife, Jamie. And look, guys, Jamie has on know, headphones. No, you <laughs> don't look awkward. No, the way you're like, you're all into it. So I'm like, I am. Yes. Don't talk too loud, babe. <laughs> you're yelling. Oh it's okay. God. You talk how you want, and he can adjust it. Okay. Oh, we are here to make you, you feel comfortable. Well, then I'd be comfortable sitting like this, but then I'd cover him. At, you sit like that. That's cover him up. However, right. you, I do it every week. Yes. Every however, you feel comfortable. Be comfy. Every um, single week. I don't think there's much that's going to make me feel comfortable in this environment, but we do our best. <laughs> Little things. All right. Well, everybody on YouTube, we're episode 29. 29, about to hit 30. We're at 2,600 something downloads, which is legit. Um, yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. We're, you know what? It's just, we're going. Ready or not, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. What was that? That is loud. That's, loud. I know. That's why I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is loud. I don't know. Hmm? <sighs> he's going to drink the whole bottle of thing. And then he's going to burp three times Gross. into the mic. Yeah. Like, gross me out. Oh, stop <laughs> swallowing. Yeah. Number one. Oh, please do this. Please drink my water. That was good. What's up, YouTube? Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Ready? Am I doing the intro? I am. Yes, you are. I'm trying to look at this real quick. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Ashley. Babe, don't elbow me, please. So, here you go. Ready. First record. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Made for More Consulting Podcast. We're back, episode 29. Tonight, you get to hear from someone that um, is very close to me, my wife, Jamie Morales. Um, so uh, it's going to be interesting because I don't know what is going to be said, but it'll be fun. <clears throat> the last two weeks, you've heard from our team. Tonight, you get to hear from her. Um, so yeah, episode 29. And before we get started, uh, you know, I want you guys to know that if this is your very first time, go back and listen to the very first podcast. We talked a little bit about why. And Adina, what would you just say? Well, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. What would you say? You say this every week. Why would they go listen to the first podcast? May for More exists to motivate, inspire, and encourage. And I think that before you can really understand and get every bit of information that you can on all the other podcasts, if you listen to the very first one, it really shares the heart um, of Make for More and kind of where we're coming from. Yeah, and then the last two episodes, um, 27, 28, mm -hmm. is more of how our lives are connected to it, the vision behind that. So it's, it's pretty cool. Well, I would say for sure, if this is <laughs> one of your first ones or if you if you're listening to podcasts like I listen to podcasts, which, fun fact, I do not listen to them in order. I cannot. It drives me insane, which yeah. I know... Mario is a really big yeah, in order I'm podcast listener. So, but I suggest everyone go and listen to episode 27, which mm -hmm. is the episode that I interviewed you about Make for More because it really does show the heart behind and the why behind Make for More. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, if you, if this is your very first one, again, go back and just listen to a few. You'll see that. It's, uh, it just helps you build leadership in your lives and the people around you. And before we go on YouTube, you guys were on here earlier. So if you, if you want a visual uh, version of our podcast, go to, YouTube, go to YouTube. And you'll see this lovely sign right here that Sheridan Mayo made. Oh, her last name's not Mayo anymore. Sorry, I don't remember what her last name is now. Sheridan, um, <clears throat> but she made this. We're gonna get hung in here at some point. But uh, yeah, so. We are going to get started. Good. So, Mario, how do you feel about us interviewing Jamie today? Because, you know, it is, she sees a different side of you, you know, the side that 
that, I mean, it's real though. Yeah. You know, yeah. she sees a different side. She sees a, a different struggle and a different um, like tension that you've mm -hmm. lived in for a while. And so, how do you feel about like her sharing like her perspective on it? I just, I think it's, I think it's interesting. I hope that she'll be authentic and real. I think she will. I just, for me, it's not nerve wracking or anything. Or I'm not nervous about anything. I think it's just. Um, I just hope that she's real about, and I'm sure she will be, but yeah, just, that's it. And for everybody listening, guys, I know that you don't know Jamie as well as we do, but this is not <clears throat> Jamie's comfort place. This is not, she would be just as happy sitting behind the scenes, you know, being, doing that supportive role. So this was a really big step for her to come and, and let us uh, interview her and kind of hear her side of yep. the made for more story. So thank you, Jamie, for being yep. willing to do that. Mm -hmm. Yep, you yes, right. ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna ask Jamie some questions, and but Mario, like I want you to like jump in and like if you see, like if you remember something that she didn't share related to it, like share that. Cause mm -hmm. I really want this to be kind of both of your perspectives, but I'm yep. hoping it'll be a little bit deeper than um, when we talked about you. So Jamie, so you have been fortunate enough to like, you have had like a true like ringside seat to the, like the very beginning of Made Before, even before so. So I can imagine that there were hundreds and hundreds of conversations along the way that you can kind of remember that kind of build into this. And I know that we've talked about how Made For More got started, like several times over the podcast, but I want to hear about it from your point of view. And so do you remember back to some of those conversations when Mario started like dreaming of Made For More, when Made For More was just a dream? That's a good question. I'm trying to think back. I mean, I do. I remember watching and just seeing, you know, how he was processing life at the time mm -hmm. and even before he even mentioned it you know I could just see that he was at a place where he needed something different and um, but yeah as far as when he first I mean I, mean, I think think back right? to the commencement speech remember oh, right around yeah. that time we had just talked we had just launched the name of it and yeah. then they asked us to be at the commencement speech for our high school that's true. Yeah, that was so talk, an, talk about that a little bit. That was an incredible experience. So we got to go back to our high school and uh, he is, did the huh? which is Greenwood High School in Greenwood, oh. Texas, outside of Midland, Odessa, Crimean Basin. Um, yeah, and that was just really cool because that was the first time where he really got to just kind of embody what made for more look like and doing that at our old school where we graduated from high school. And that was really, really cool. And he got to see other people that um, he'd, we'd gone to school with and people that had spoken into his life. And that was, it was, it was just such a neat experience for them to see him in that way and for him to represent who he was and what he had learned and grown into in that place. So yeah, that was super cool. So how did you feel like seeing that and like seeing all the dots kind of connect together? Oh, super proud. Yeah. <laughs> You're already going to get me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Well, that's the only talking about being in. the emotional one. And I'm like, yeah, that's so me. <laughs> We're only six minutes yeah. in. I know. We're <laughs> six minutes in. I'm already crying. Uh, so yeah. talk about that, like being proud of him in that moment. Oh, well, it's just. It's an incredible thing to watch somebody go through different seasons of life. And, uh, dang, I bet. <laughs> um, and to see somebody, because when you watch from the outside, you can see where their struggles are, but then you can also see where he pushed, where he fought to be in a different place. Mm -hmm. So to have watched that unfold, it was just incredible because, you know, I pride myself on being his biggest fan and his cheerleader. And that's, you know, it's an honor and that's what I get to do. And so at that moment, for sure, it was like the first time where I was like, he's with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was, that was the first time. Like you've never felt that way before. Oh my gosh. No, I'm no. just kidding. <laughs> so many times, but yeah, but definitely, definitely to see him 
really just walk through these steps and come into this place that he's in now because it wasn't easy you know and it wasn't I know he had a light bulb moment but then he had to walk the journey mm -hmm. to get to this place so speaking of that light bulb moment he talked about that Mario talked about that in episode 27 how he was just really struggling and that he just kind of was living in that tension and but he he couldn't label it he didn't know what that was and I can imagine that that was a really tough time in your home and in your marriage and like with just it with parenting. So can you think back to that time and talk about like that struggle and that tension and like how difficult that time was? Yeah, I mean, I think when he was struggling, I, I just, I remember there being a lot of negativity to where that just kind of consumed a lot of his thoughts. And then that kind of bled into into my thoughts about certain things and not to put all the blame on him you know but that was just kind of the season we were in where every we we're just focused on all these details of things that just weren't working or you know things that weren't going like we really wanted it to or this or that and so it just kind of consumed our world and so i feel like all of us kind of lived in just kind of a negative place where it was hard to see the good mm -hmm that was happening around us. Yeah. So then Mario kind of has his light bulb moment. He gets the video, he, you know, like he's talked about. And I love what you said, cause he had his light bulb moment, but then he had to walk the journey. Mm -hmm. And so when he was walking that journey, like how did you see him change? And what was that like from your side? Little bits at a time. Um, I think he just started recognizing little things of himself and I could, you know, he would make comments about, okay, well, we need to, we need to see what's good here or, you know, let's not focus so much on all the things that are wrong. Um, so yeah, I think just little bits at a time of him recognizing things about himself that had gotten to a certain place and just making small changes. And then those small changes became even more evident to us when he would start you know, implementing big disciplines into his life to get to where he is. Yeah, so you said that like when he was kind of in a, in a rough place, that he was very negative and how that negativity kind of bled over. And then, so you were starting, then you had some negative thoughts like that. Mm -hmm. It was just that negativity was just kind of all around you. Mm -hmm. So then his thoughts started changing and becoming more positive. Did your thoughts become positive like right away or did that kind of take you a little bit longer to kind of get on that, that bandwagon of being positive and seeing the best? And I think in some ways it was pretty quick, but in other things, yeah, it was a struggle for me to kind of change my mindset because I'd kind of, I'd gotten to where I, I believed a lot of the neg negative things, you know, so I had gotten into where I was focused on those things too. So it did, I think it took a little bit of time for me to switch my thought process yeah. and, you know, see things a certain way. Yeah. Go ahead, Mario. No, I think that, uh, is this good? Mm -hmm. So I think that one, there's two things there that I wrote down. The first one was, it's interesting because I just had a, I had a conversation with uh, one of my coworkers today that he was discussing the fact that, uh, the morale of a team when the leader is negative that you begin to that's all when, when you think of all neg when you constantly think of negativity you begin to change your mind about things in a negative way so when you're constantly negative the results of everything you do is going to be negative so I think I mean what I wrote down is just for our leaders listening and for people that are not leaders or they don't think they're leaders everyone's a leader is what we've always said <clears throat> and I'm just adding some of this leadership stuff as Jamie talks is um, if you're constantly thinking negative as a leader or even as a volunteer or as somebody that's on a team, then everything you see is going to be negative. And it's interesting that she said good because that was one of the videos. Again, this is all going to go back to Jocko. I, yeah. I'd love for you to ask her what her and my daughters think about Jocko. Oh, um, that's, a, that's a great question. We'll be but, sure to add that in. But like whenever you think of good, I mean, that was one of the, again, there's two videos that just changed the way I thought. And when I heard him say, you know, okay, your, your job got, you, 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 you lost your job, good, because you get to go find something better. Or hey, a project got canceled, good, now you get to focus on the next. And that was like going, holy crap, I know this stuff, I just forgot because 
what had filled my mind with negativity. And so that I brought it home, I brought it to my team, and man, I realized quickly that I was the reason that things were in a negative spot. So mm -hmm. yeah. You you were you were you were leading your family in that way. Yeah. And you're you know, we've talked about that, whether you're a leader your team is going to take on your traits and whether it's in your family or if it's in the business. And so you were able to see that it, you know, it was, you had some negativity going on. Yeah. So Jamie, Mario is very growth oriented. We've talked about that. He's always reading. He's always listening to podcasts. Like that is something that's really important to him. Um, would you define yourself as the same way? And how, how does that likeness or difference, um, how does that work out in your relationship? And Mario was laughing, so apparently this is gonna be a great question. No, that is not my nature. Mm -hmm. So that's been, that's been kind of interesting. Um, but I would say because it's not my nature and it is so much his, it's pushed me. Mm -hmm. So I've seen it in that because it's inspiring. He's he just embodies the growth. And so somebody like me, I'm I'm drawn to people like that. Because I just don't have that personality naturally. Um so yeah, I love it. Cause it definitely pushes me to see the areas of my life where I can grow. So what are some things that you're doing like right now to grow? Um, I'd say one would be in my job. Um, that was that was kind of an aha moment. I told him when I first started working because I hadn't worked, you know, for however many years, ten years more. Um, and then when I started working, it was weird how all the things that he's been talking about and learning and sharing, how that sunk into me more than I realized, because then it just came out naturally in my job, and I changed positions very quickly. Like you know, got to a. a a higher position quickly and was talked about very kindly you know from my co-workers and my boss and um, so different things like in that world surprised me yes you're but, like this does work yeah exactly yeah and it was encouraging I was like okay well I'm gonna keep doing this mm -hmm. you know I want to make a difference in this place that I had no idea I could yes. um, so that would be one um, I don't know what other areas I mean I mean you, you you definitely listen to our podcast here, but you also yeah. read some of the books that we've read. You have you're forced to listen to some of the podcasts. You're, she's yeah. forced. I'm to not listen. a natural yeah. reader. I wish that I was. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think just being in a place where I have a desire to take in the information that, that I'm around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you also ask. There's times that you ask, how would you handle this? Or what are your thoughts? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we have lots of conversations. And what well, one area I have seen you grow in is like your spiritual growth, and I think that that is like we don't talk a lot about that on this podcast, but with you, like I know you personally, and I know that that is that that is an area that you have grown a lot in, and that you've put a lot of work into. And so, can you talk about just a minute how how you could how you're taking these principles that you're learning? and you're using it to build your faith. Yeah, I think recognizing the consistency of that's good. Anything that you really want to be different at takes the work to be consistent. Mm -hmm. That's Which not is. easy. And I've had different seasons where I feel like I've done better at the consistency than others. But the time that I've seen the most growth in myself is when there's consistent effort put in, okay. consistent time spent. This one. Discipline equals freedom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to hate when you say that. But it's yeah. true. I mean, and I think when yeah. he uses that discipline equals freedom in every different area of your life. Yeah. But I know for you that that's an important yes. you know, part yeah. of your life. So I yeah. wanted to give you, like, I want you, you to recognize that you may not see growth in other areas, but those 10 years while you were staying at home, that was an area that you did grow in. And your growth might not look like Mario's growth, but you had your own growth journey and you were using a lot of these principles, yeah. but it, it, it just, it wasn't the exact same in the exact same format. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So good job. See, Thank you. I didn't even recognize that. <laughs> 
So, um, I know that like he's talked about how you, you listen, you do listen to the podcast. You sit up here quite often and you, you get to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And so how would you say that watching him do the podcast and, um, kind of live out his dream, this is, you know, how does that, how does that resonate with you? Hmm. I mean, other than what I've said, as far as, you know, it just makes me very proud. And, God damn it, he's an example. You know, he's not just an example to me, but to our children. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that your girls do sit up here on a regular yeah. basis. And I wish that people that are listening or people on YouTube knew that, but a lot of days, you know, the girls are right behind the camera sitting yeah. there listening. Well, you know. they know how important this time is. You know, mm -hmm. even if they're not up here, they know this is podcast time, mm -hmm. you know, so they're being quiet and being respectful. And she tries to. Um, you know. Yes, no. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so cool when somebody makes that step to do something different in their life. It doesn't, just doesn't affect them. Mm -hmm. You know, it affects all of them or all the people around them. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it's done with us. It's, it's been huge for all of us to see it and to be a part of it. And he's so big to make it where it's not just about yeah. him. He wants it to be all of us. Absolutely. Cause he sees that, I mean, you, you're, you were on his team. Like, you know, his family is his number one team yeah. and that's important. So, so from where you sit, what would you say that made for Moore's biggest struggle has been? Ooh, can you go give me a little bit more information on that? What does it mean? I don't know. What do you mean our biggest struggle? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Just what are we struggling? I mean, not we as in we as in the team. So yeah. I mean, but, um, you can think. What do you think the biggest win for me for more is? Mm. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Kind of try to get an answer out of one of you. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you got anything for that? No, I okay. don't know what the biggest struggle would be. That's okay. a tough one. It well, it is. What about the biggest win? I think the biggest win was when you finally said yes and you got up here and did the podcast. Good. Yes, I could totally agree with that. That because was a it, huge. It was. It was like your first really big step in this direction. And then that's when everything just went full speed ahead. When you finally made the decision to do this. Mm. Cause you'd bought the equipment, it, the room was Sat ready, there. you know, yeah. and it just took the courage, yeah. that last step to do this part. Mm. So a few weeks ago um, on episode 27, I asked Mario, um, where does he want made for more to be in five years? So if you kind of heard his answer, you heard, you heard Etienne and I answered the question. So where do you want Made For More to be in the next five years as a Made For More team, somebody on the team, and as his wife? Oh, all that he wants it to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love y'all's answers to be known, for it to be something that is super impactful, that people know when they hear Made For More, they're like, oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. You know, for it to just be very successful. So, and I loved what he said about the conferences that made me emotional sitting mm -hmm. out there on the outside. Cause that is something that we dreamed about. And if it looks different and if my role is different, shoot, I'll just still, I'll stand there and hold that door open and be super excited that this is happening. Well, there's still going to be music. So, yeah. Oh, well, I'm probably not know that she sings. But. We, oh yeah. People probably don't know that, that Jamie's, she sings and she sings amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and you know we could talk about your growth in that area as well. Oh yeah, you led people. One hundred percent. You know, That's we'll true. we'll go back there a little bit. Okay. But but it is true that is another area that you've really grown in is is leading yeah. is leading people in that environment because there was a time when you were like no I'm just gonna stand back here mm -hmm. and sing mm -hmm. and now you are right up there leading them telling them what to do. Yeah, you you can get a little bossy, and I like it. I'm, I was like, <laughs> way to go, Jamie. You still sound so nice, though. Oh, good. But how does <laughs> yeah. that play out? How does it lead yeah. the bands, not the people, but the bands? Like, yeah, what? I actually forgot about that. That's so true. Yeah, so now I'm 
not just the person that stands at the front of the stage and leads the music and talks to the people, but yeah, I lead the bands during the week and. Well, what is that? What's what's what one of the number one things that you've learned? Oh, I've learned like how to, to communicate lead. with people and yeah, to. I don't know how to put that into words. Relationships. Into words? Yeah, the relationships for sure. Um, and ownership, I think. I mean, okay. that's always so I'm going to ask if Mario the microphone. Okay. So Mario, um, I want you to talk a little bit about Jamie and like the growth that you have seen in her. Mm -hmm. um, like using the made for more principles over yeah. like the last couple <clears throat> of years. Yeah, I think it's difficult for her to see. I mean, just like any of us, mm -hmm. it's difficult to see the growth because you're so close to it. So I think one, just like what we said, is the she leads multiple adults that are most of them are older than her, and they're musicians. So if you lead anybody that's creative or musicians, uh, that's a difficult mm -hmm. task because musicians. And I'm not hit, you know ragging on musicians, but they're there's something you know they're a special type of person. And so for Jamie to um, you know, every, that, those are the questions that we asked. Like when we first started this is, hey, how would you say this? How would you do that? And the biggest challenge and one of the hardest things about leadership is ownership. But that's what she learned is it's your band. Like that no one else is going to do this. So you got to step in. And like some of the people on her team are <clears throat> have some of the biggest uh, character. They're, they're some of the biggest characters. Um, and they have some big... Uh, I don't even know what to say. It's not egos, like some big personalities. But for them to look opinions. at her as a, yeah, opinions too. For them to look at her as a leader and then follow her, that's relationship, right? And we talk about that all the time. Build a relationship with the team. If you don't know your team, then they don't care about you. Mm -hmm. Or they can sense that from a mile away going, Oh, you're just telling me to play an instrument. No. And so I think that's been one of the biggest things is um, being able to see that she grew up, she's grown in the relationships with her band and being able to, you know, have yeah, guide with ownership and um, relationships. Yeah, and I think, uh, and I think the the drive to want to get better um, is there. And so, yeah. So, do you think that five years ago mm -hmm. that Jamie would have been on the podcast talking about you know made for no. more? Heck no, heck no. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think so. I know. I don't think that. I mean. It's almost getting to where it's going to be five years ago, right? For us that we started this, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't think so at all. I don't think any of us saw this, but I think, uh, I don't think that she would. Yeah, no way. No. Nope. No, nope. but look, another point of growth, Jamie. Yeah. Another <laughs> point of growth. Yep. So, uh, Mari, do you have anything else to say about me? About um, no. I mean, at some point, at the end of this, I have some. I've written down some fun facts. Uh, some of the funniest things that have happened, one of them is gross, but the other is, uh, I just think it's interesting if you were to ask when I first started changing the my attitude in the, from negative to positive, I mean, all I had on was Jocko 24 seven, whether it was driving from here just to HEB or from here to Target, my daughters would be like, do we have to listen to Jocko? And then she'd be the same way because we'd be on a date I mean, we were Marco and you guys sometimes, and you could hear Jocko in the background. It's a, but it was just in, it was ingrained in me to go, hey, I'm, I'm gonna make sure all of us grow. But um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what she, I mean, I've met him since then. And just anyways. I do remember like asking Jamie, like, does he always listen to Marco? Yeah, I remember us being at Marco. Stop Jocko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were on Marco Polo one yeah. time and we were all, we were just listening to Jocko. Um, but anyway. I just cannot. But okay, yeah. I'm glad that you've made that commitment to growth in your life. Yeah, because she's grown from it. Yeah, Jamie, what do you think about Jocko? How do you feel when you listen to him? Remember, he might listen to this at some point. But it's, it's an honest... it's changed a lot, to be honest. Uh -huh. I mean, when I first listened to him, I was like, oh my gosh, he's scary. He's... And Mario was like, no, he's not. Uh -huh. It's just so intense. Like intense. intense was the word that I had used so much, and he completely disagreed with me. I completely agree with you. <laughs> I like I will read Jocko's books, and even when I we listen to Extreme Ownership, I listen to it, and I loved listening to. It. I thought this was great. But when I watch his videos that he makes, 
it, it, I, it, my anxiety rises, my heart starts beating. I'm like, ah! Mario's like, that's motivating. No, that is not motivating. That's scary. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. I don't like it. So, so what do you, what do your girls think about listening to Jocko in the car all the time? Yeah, they're usually like, Dad, turn it off. <laughs> and then when we talk about discipline equals freedom. Oh so. yeah, anytime he mentions discipline equals freedom, we're all like, oh come on. It's gotten a lot better now that, you know, we're doing made for more, but at the beginning it was just please stop saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I only have I only have two more questions for you. See, this has not been that bad. Um, how would you say that Mario has influenced you? Mm. Specifically? Yes, but the, the question is open to interpretation. <laughs> well, I would say definitely, I mean, all the good things. I think similar to what I've said before, just like when I saw him have his, I don't know how long he did the really early mornings. Shoot, was two and a half years, I think. I think that was one of the times where I was, I watched him for a while and then I thought, wow, could actually get up that early and still function maybe I should try this and I, I'm pretty sure that was when I did my solid year of getting up really really early um, so he definitely influenced me in that way because that was really just something that I was like I'm, I'm not a morning person so it was not an easy thing but I could see the benefit of it in his life and so I was like okay well I'm gonna try that for myself and it really was incredible and then you know you easily get back into your comfort zone. So For sure. <laughs> I want to do yeah. that again at some yeah. point. Um, and then the same, all the things that he does, because he is, just who he is influences. Because he is so much, he gets in his mind a goal that he wants to reach and he'll just fight till he gets it. And that's just so not me. So anytime he's done anything like that, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, I just want a tiny bit of that. I want a tiny bit of your discipline and your desire to reach a goal. I don't even like making goals. <laughs> because in my mind, I'm like, if I don't hit it, then I'm a failure. So I'm just not gonna make a, a goal. And he's so completely the opposite of that. And he shows that it, it is possible and that there's victory on the other side. So I think just so much of who he is influences, mm -hmm. especially because, you know, this is us. We're, we're yeah. together all the time. So, well, one of the things that I've seen and I want you to talk about a little bit is, you know, it is called Made for More. And I have seen Mario like speak that into your life that you are, that you are made for more, that you are capable of more, whether it is the way that you parent your girls, whether it is the way that you lead the band, um, whether it is just dreaming about a conference, you know, that that naturally isn't a part of what you believe about yourself in so many ways, but because you're married to him, you know, he has spoken that into your life so much for you to really believe that. So do you have an area of your life that you can see that that's like really, that, that like resonates with you that's really true? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I would say anything where I'm having to be in front of people, mm -hmm. you know, like we're, saying today I went to a meeting and actually introduced myself to this you know group of people and I wasn't like quivering in my mouth like I would have been before you know like I actually have to say who I am I have to speak in front of these people and at one point I even you know answered a question in front of all these people I know so I think anything like that it's like just over time I think the belief that you I do have yeah and I have something to offer the mm -hmm. world you know, it's weird how life mm -hmm. plants certain things in your mind that you, you know, believe about yourself. And so I think little by little, that has been something big for me is that, okay, I can, I have something to offer people mm -hmm. and I'm building up a confidence to do more things. Yeah. Let's stand yeah. out in front of others. That's yeah. good. So if you could have one message on a billboard, what would it be? Ooh, I think we've all answered this question. <laughs> In your, uh, your, your hype song? I don't have a hype song. That's like asking me my favorite song. Okay, it's not possible. What, I love what one message would you want to share with the world? Freaking Daisy Chicks. 
Can people even hear your little comments? Yeah, they yeah, probably they not. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I could tell one thing to the world. Mm-hmm. You're enough and you matter. Yeah. See? I knew it would come out. It's almost exactly what I thought you were going to say. Mm-hmm. You know? Because that's the message that you have fought to hear about yourself. Yeah. You For know? sure. So that's good. That's that's what you want other people to know, and they are enough, and they do matter, and they have value, and one hundred percent. So that's the message that you probably carry around with you every day. But See, good <laughs> job, good job. Okay, now we're now we need your hype song. Mario asked, "What's your hype song?" I don't think I have a hype song. Okay, it doesn't have to be a worship song. <laughs> it could be a worship <laughs> song. When you when you get in the car and you just like I just want to sing like I just want to enjoy a song like what would you what would be on in your car right now? It wouldn't just be one song because I like the variety. Okay, what the would be worship station? Because that's just me. I know I even work out to worship songs, and he's like, "How do you exercise to that?" Because he he listens to Metallica uh-huh. for his you know hype song. Yeah, yeah. but it's because I'm all about the feels. Like yeah. I'm all about just you know what yeah. this song causes me to think about. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Okay, what's your favorite song that you're singing right now? Oh my gosh. Probably by Sam Hunt for that other dude. So, I mean, I'll, I'll be like, what favorite song are you singing on Sunday? We will narrow it down <laughs> until oh, you get there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, what are you always singing? Yeah, what do you sing? What what song brings out all the feels? Was it the one that your mom wanted you to sing with Jay? Oh, Come to Jesus. I think that was that one, but no. That's that's why it's so hard. There's just too many. There's too many good ones. That's it. Just, what song do you want to your funeral? That's, that right there is that's a that's a classic musician right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right I just you just I just can't they pick can't one. Pick one. Just pick one. <laughs> I really don't like these questions. I, this, this is supposed to be an easy question. I'm trying to end. Okay. <laughs> trying to end on an easy note. She she was listening to Easy E the other day. There we go. To what? Easy. easy. Who's Easy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Never mind. Oh. Just kidding. Go ahead. Just what, you gotta answer okay. the question. Yeah, honestly, like this is one of those questions that I it's, it's cannot, too hard. I cannot answer it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll give you the list of the songs that we're singing on Sunday, and I'll tell you I love them all. Now, Actually, no, I don't. But <laughs> it's the connection song that I don't really like. Not the not the worship song. Okay. Okay. Anything else you would like us to know about you or Mario before we, we end your part of this? It's been a journey. It has been a journey. Yeah. It has been a journey. So I'm so thankful to be a part of it. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. It's it's just, a, it's kind of surreal that this is happening, but um, it's one of those things that I've, I've watched him for all these years we've so now we've been together for 20 years so more than half of our lives 21 21 years yes i said more than 20. yeah it's 21 years anyway he's all 21 years 18 days that's uh, six hours <laughs> <laughs> that's how much he loves you yeah <laughs> that's what he was gonna say no but anyways you know he's just one of those people that just stands out if I for a lack of better words like I've stood back and watched him do different things over the years and he's just naturally successful he's naturally good at the things that he puts his energy into and um, but when it's one of those things that you just know that's what he was created for oh man it's yeah. just there's nothing like it and it's so cool to stand back and watch and I've gotten to do that in different seasons mm-hmm. of our lives. So, it's cool. The next one. It, babe. I'm excited <laughs> for the next season. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. All right, Mario. What do you, What do you have to add before we? No, I just I appreciate her and her uh, her biggest fan mentality that she said. I really do. <clears throat> yeah, she's put up with a lot of stuff. So, and I'm not perfect. Adina's nodding head. Her head <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not perfect by any means. And yeah, we all have our struggles, but no, seriously, I think that <clears throat> just being able to see her grow and um, yeah, take a chance on this is, is uh, it's, a, it's, it's like taking a leap again, just going crap, here we go, so. 
Yeah, and you guys have done that a couple of different times, you know, over. Moved here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, taking a new job and all that stuff. So, yeah, we've done it quite a bit. And I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think she's done a really good job just being on the podcast. It's a huge. I know. Yeah. I, I almost can't believe she said yes. Yeah. But then I was like, I don't think we'd really give her a choice. I think no. we were like, you're just going to do this. And mm -hmm. just, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wrote down a funny note. Yeah, let's hear your funny notes. No, do you, so do you remember when, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, man. Um, I still, I'm still burping, but, so do you remember when, I, so when I wrote that made for more, like I remember waking up and creating that podcast, or creating that website, it was a spring break of 2000 or whatever, this is what, four, three and a half years ago, three and a half years ago, four. Do you remember what happened that, that, that I think it was either that night or the night before, Remember when I ate all that junk? And I remember and I, I, I threw up everywhere. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I remember, no. I remember yes. hearing it. Because I'm, I was laying in bed, and I don't know why I'm sharing this, because I wrote that down, throw up right here. I remember <laughs> this thought coming to my mind of, man, I can start this company of man, helping people see that they're motivated, inspired, and encouraged. But I had had so much hot food <laughs> that uh, that night I was laying in bed looking up at the ceiling thinking of all these things and then all of a sudden I just had this hiccup and I was like nope, nope. that's not going to see this <laughs> and, then, and then it did it again I was like uh, should I get up and it was too late and I, I looked straight up into the ceiling I love giving these details but I sat up, looked at the ceiling, and it, I go, it's coming out. <laughs> and my wife was laying next to me. And I had, I couldn't, we were at my mom's house, and I couldn't, I just looked up, and I said, oh, it's just coming out. <laughs> so I just looked straight up at the ceiling and just let it go all over my chest Poor and Jamie. all over my shirt. Uh, and I just looked up, got up out of the bed, walked, and just fully clothed, just got in the shower. So uh, about three in the morning. So anyways. That, that's, that's the kind of stuff Jamie has had to put up oh, with. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> there from our, I mean, that, the whole situation at camp when my gallbladder gave out mm -hmm. at camp, and we were there with 30, 40 kids, oh, no other cute. leaders, and I had to go to the emergency room, and then I had to take them out while they were at camp. So there's a lot of stuff that we've, we've yeah. Um, but, no, I think, I think um, yeah, I think it's, I think the next chapter of our life is pretty close, and so, um, yeah. That's it. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No. You can close this out. Um. Well, before we do, we have uh, follow us on socials. Yes. Made for more consulting. Yes. And um. What's follow what are, us on YouTube? What are we doing next week? What, what's our next? Next week's going to be cool. So next week, uh, people are going to get to see our living room because we're going to kind of transform our living room into a live podcast. So there's going to be some people that we have that it's a Q and A. So really, if you listen to this this week, if you're listening to this now. I would uh, shoot us a, a, you know, connect with us on social media. We'll put another Q and A, like, hey, what's your question this week? And we're gonna be answering some questions. Um, so far, I have a couple of good questions about um, how do you work with family? Like, what happens when you're in a family business and you're having to work with family and in laws? So <clears throat> there's some good questions there, but it's gonna be a live studio audience podcast. First one ever. I'm excited. I think that my husband's going to come. Yeah, we have quite a few people that are. Yeah. I, the thing that I like is it's a diverse group of people that some of them don't even know each other and some of them aren't even connected to each other. So I'm going, this is like, going to be I feel like we should have snacks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, know, you know, I, I was like, yes. oh, wait. It's, we like, it's like we're having, you said, yeah. like, we're having a party. Yeah. Just don't we're, bring your kids. Yeah, I'm made for more. Party. Yeah, it's and we're gonna, gonna do a podcast. Party podcast. See, that's so podcast fun. party. Just kidding. No, yeah, it's gonna be good. It'll be a live podcast. Um, and then the following week, we, we're gonna start picking apart uh, atomic habits. I'm really excited about right. atomic habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, just for future reference, you may want to go out and buy the book Start with Why. That'll be our second Simon Sinek book sometime this year. Mm -hmm. But if you are listening to us, you listen to us, and you want to know more about goal setting. It's never too early to start that book because he talks about how to set some goals pretty easy. Um, it's a simple book too. Well, I think that's gonna work right into like the beginning of the year and mm -hmm. helping people kick off yeah, you're right. like kind of that, the end of the year, but helping people really kick off the beginning of the year yeah. with some goal setting and 
really helping them establish like their personal why. Yeah, and then um, hopefully we get some, a few cool interviews. So, um, but next week live podcast. Follow us on the so socials. Atomic Habits and start with why. We're now on. Uh, Audible, Audible carries our podcast, uh, Spotify, so cool. um, the Apple One. There's a, there's a lot of them now, like tons. It's just cool. That's so, really cool. Yep, over 1,600 downloads. Keep it up. Okay. Yes, yeah, share this. Let us know how and what questions you have. So. so I think we should let Jamie read the last line tonight. You think so? I do. I think so. I think she's going to bring, like, read it with, like, a heart that we don't usually read it with. What does that mean? <laughs> you just have to say it to say it. I mean, I, mean, I have no heart. See? Just kidding. Jamie has a bigger heart. Okay. Okay. Thank you for You're that. Welcome. Remember, you exist for more. You are here to offer more. Don't ever give up. Every single one of us was made for more. See? Awesome, babe. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. You did so good. <laughs> Are y'all gonna edit that? Because I kept like answering the same question. No, no, no. no. You did a fabulous job. Conversation. You did a great job. Ashley, how'd it go? Thank you. you. you did so My good. gosh, that was a mess. Anything else at YouTube? Uh, Hi, YouTube. YouTube. We'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>